This is Twit. So when someone is reaching for Flutter, what problem are they trying to solve? Uh, we're here to just make development better. Um, so people come to Flutter uh, because they want a better way to develop for mobile. Um, we talk about Flutter as um, helping be- people build beautiful things, um, help people be productive when they're building things, um, help the end results be fast, uh, and of course, you know, well integrated with the rest of the systems that they need to integrate with. So you've been involved with Flutter since the beginning, even before it was called Flutter. It was called Sky back then or something, and maybe even something else even before that internally. Um, how did it get started? Why, I mean, there, there are already cross-platform uh, um, you know, solutions for iOS and Android. Why did you need something different? Well, we didn't uh, actually start trying to build anything cross-platform. Um, we, a bunch of us who had worked on the web, we worked as part of Chrome, Uh, And we eventually uh, hit a point of frustration where we felt like we couldn't move the web uh, as fast as we want to. And we started trying various radical things. One of the radical things we tried uh, was uh, taking a razor to Chrome and cutting away lots of bits uh, and just see how fast we could make it. And uh, that experiment uh, resulted in some 20 time speed ups on various benchmarks we cared about and told us that there was There was some gold worth digging for, and we ended up uh, experimenting further and eventually uh, built the system, uh, built the system that became Flutter. But that took some years. Is this getting? Is is the is Chrome getting slow because of all these complicated new rules from the W three C about things like CSS and and uh, and other layout things? Oh no! I mean, I I mean, maybe I'm biased. I worked on Chrome for a long time, so I think (laughs) Chrome is is quite fast at what it does. It's just when you're solving a problem of um, being compatible with things that are 30 years old and have a different set of constraints, uh, as well as also trying to do all the fancy new things, uh, that's a very, very difficult problem to solve. Uh, it's just a very complicated problem. And when you have all that complexity, you know, things slow down. So you built this version of Chrome that was all stripped down, um, mm-hmm. and but that wasn't that obviously didn't stop there. When did uh, when did Dart come into play? Uh, so Dart came into play, I want to say maybe nine months into the project. We had built uh, a couple of versions of the system. Um, the first several versions of the system were built in JavaScript, um, but we eventually had um, trouble, you know, unit testing to 100%, uh, and just making sure that our large and growing JavaScript system um, held together. And uh, we also had trouble with startup time, uh, and we had trouble with predictable performance, and we went looking for other languages that might be able to offer us that, um, and ended up with Dart. Now, why why Dart and not Java? Oh, I don't recall all the details of why not Java. There uh, are obviously some complexities uh, in the Java ecosystem. Um, I think that uh, it was more, we, we looked at, again, a large variety of languages and had a, a set of, of goals that we wanted any language to fill. Uh, and Dart, uh, again, did a, did a good job of filling those goals. Particularly, it had a strong garbage collector, which allowed us to build a reactive uh, style system where we allocate uh, sometimes thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of objects in a single frame. Um, it also had uh, an AOT mode, so it could have fast, predictable startup time, uh, as well as um, predictable performance. Once it it didn't it didn't have like warm up time. Um, mm-hmm. It also had things like hot reload, uh, which not many other languages had. Um, and there's a variety of other of reasons that we list on, on the FAQ uh, at Flutter.io. And uh, did you work with the Dart team to get new features added to it? Oh, definitely. The Dart team was extremely responsive. Um, Dart uh, had seen a lot of success inside Google in its web incarnation, which involves taking Dart and translating it to JavaScript, and had seen less uh, success with its like custom VM and AOT compiler, et cetera. And so the Dart team was uh, very happy to work with us and uh, evolve the language to be much better for what we needed to do. And that was, again, a huge contributing factor to uh, us being successful with Dart as a language. And I understand that uh, Flutter is actually being uh, uh, adopted heavily. Um, I, I think the most recent figure I saw was something like 3,000 applications in the Google Play Store. Um, it, it, does, that ex, uh, does that meet or exceed your ex- expectations at this point? 
Um, I think that Flutter has really exploded well beyond my expe- expectations. We set <laughs> uh, we set like user monthly goals uh, for the year uh, that we thought were aggressive, and we've tripled them um, by the end of this year. Uh, and yeah, the the applications are actually a pretty strong lagging indicator. Um, there are lots and lots of applications out in the in the Play Store, and that's just uh, you can have thousands and tens of thousands, if hundred thousands, developers, uh, and the the applications just take a while to get out. Um, but that's three thousand, I think, even just in the last year. Uh, but yeah, it's it's strong growth. 